Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we've got Cosca Reeves from the Vintage Collection, just reviewed Axe Woves, her counterpart, and again, really, really glad these ones came out here in Australia, given that they were Target exclusives in the US. Uh, this is VC230, and uh, yeah, I do have the rest of these figures on the channel now, so you can go back and check out any one of these figures for review. Cardwork, cardboards, cardboard, card back artwork is looking awesome. Love that. Looks a little bit painted. It looks, uh, yeah, just the way it's sort of composited. Looks good though. Now she was a great figure in the Black Series line, so we'll take a look at how she is in the Vintage Collection. It looks as though she's got the uh, same feature as Bo-Katan with the swap out head for helmet. Um, I did say with the Axe Woves that I wish they did that because they gave him uh, an empty helmet for for his head. So I wish they did that on that version. But um, obviously this being a sort of newer sculpt um, with new tooling, they were able to do it with this figure. Whereas that one was reused from a figure that is a few years old now. So all good. Um, yeah, let's just crack into it and uh, get Cosca out of the packaging. Here she looks. Looks really cool. Yeah, here we go. We've got her minute little jetpack. Let's get a quick look at that. It's a tiny little thing. But at least it's all in one piece. <laughs> if you saw my Axe Woes review, you will understand. Again, she's coming with one blaster pistol. Um, yeah, I believe that that's, that's right too. If I can get it out. There we go. The one time their sticky tape is actually good. Get the helmet out. So yeah, there we go, straight off the back. It's got the peg. The peg for the helmet, the switch out. It does have the range finder that moves. And yeah, it does look quite small. So your axe woves here side by side. Yeah, a little bit of size difference there, but um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that might be a little bit, little bit small, but that's all right. You know, I know her and Bo-Katan weren't super, super tall characters, but uh, if we go sort of side by side, oh, that probably works. You know, he was a tall dude. Um, but yeah, she looks good. Nice sculpt on the head. It's really nice, considering it's all one piece. Though I know the Black Series had the two separate pieces for the head. You know they were able to engage in that sort of tooling for the figure. Um, shoulder flaps sort of come up, so that armor sort of sits there like that. I dare say probably mostly the same as Bo-Katan, given I don't have her on hand. Um, Bo does come with the two two holsters. Um, whereas Costco only has the one, which is fine. Articulation seems to move nice. I like the, the uh, you know, sort of within the last sort of 12 months, I feel like the plastic, the quality of the plastic of the figure has improved. It's not as sort of soft and gummy as it had been over the last sort of few years. Um, you know, whether that's a result of, you know, change in factories, change in, you know, Tooling changes means, you know, a change to the way they do things. Not sure. Couldn't tell you. But, uh, yeah, it feels like an improvement to me. So, there's a jetpack which will peg into her back. That looks good. Do the old head swap just to sort of see how she looks with the helmet there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Maybe feels a little bit on the small side. I don't know if that's just me. So I feel like maybe the head feels, looks maybe a little bit bigger than the helmet. I don't know, hard to tell. Maybe it's just me. I'll spend a little bit more time sort of playing with this figure and looking at it and sort of see how I feel. Um, just, yeah, I'll get Bo-Katan out again and sort of, Pose them up together and see how they all look. But either way, I'm digging it. I think this is a nice figure, really good articulation all around. Love to get 
get some flight stands for these ones. You can zoom around and do cool shit stuff. Apologize, I don't often swear on my reviews. The knee joint feels a little on the loose side. So it's a little bit more free flowing. And the other one, that one's a little bit tighter. So I may need to just put a little bit of a little bit of super glue in there just to thicken that joint up a little bit just so it's not so wobbly and loose. I don't foresee it being any uh any issues with that, but um yeah. Still nice looking figure. I'm 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 a fan. I do like the uh unhelmeted look. You know, when they do things like Fantastic head sculpts like that. You definitely prefer to see the see the human underneath. When it's time for battle. You know, I love that you can still pose her up with the uh, helmet in her hands, or rested at her side, or something like that. Looks good. So yeah, definitely a fan of these figures. You missed Axe Wives and Migs Mayfeld, please go back and check them out. There's the last two videos in my channel feed uh, before this one. So, yeah, again, very grateful that these were able to come out down Australia and without having to pay stupid money to get them from the United States on eBay. I'm very, very glad I didn't have to go down that route. So, thank you all very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you all again in another video real soon. So until then, may the force be with you, always.